Hey guys, it's Daisy. So for today's video, it's gonna be a long-awaited apartment tour. I hope you guys do enjoy this video. It has been requested for quite a while, but the reason we didn't really do one was because we didn't have enough furniture at the time to do one, but we have a little bit more, so hopefully you guys do enjoy this video, and let's get started. So to start off, we have our front door. This is where we come in when we're out. And then over here we have our garage. I'm gonna open the door. There's no car in there because right now our car is in the shop. But we have a fishing rod there and it's completely empty. Turn off that light. <laughs> and then we have these stairs that go up to our living room and kitchen area. So, we have also a little hook for when we get here, we put our keys there, my bag and Hazel's collar when we take her out for a walk. And then here is our living room area and our kitchen. So I guess I'll start off with the living room. <laughs> so here we just have our shoes when we go in. Um, over here we have a bar cart, which is where we put our alcoholic beverages and whatnot. And I thought it would be just a cute little touch to put a few things here. This is actually a little fountain, an LED fountain. Let me see if it works. <laughs> oh, well, I guess we need water for that. <laughs> but, wait, is it gonna work? Nope, we need water. <laughs> and over here we have a little snack area. And I actually thought it would be a good idea to put this little box and fill it with snacks. Because when Chris is watching his show or like a movie, he likes to usually have like chips or eat some candy and stuff. So I thought it would be good to just put this right next to the couch for when he's watching something and he's hungry. And uh, our couch, lamp, our coffee table, our rug, Hazel. Hi, Hazel. Hi, Hazel. Yeah. And then we also added these lights. I think they're really cute. They look especially cute at night. And this is what it looks like at night. It looks so much prettier at night. <laughs> um, we have our TV stand over there with the little built-in fireplace because we don't have a real one. So I thought that was also cute. This area is empty. I kind of want to get a plant, like a big plant and put it here. I don't know. I have a thing for plants as you can see there and up there. <laughs> but yeah, um, this apartment is still not done being decorated but it is so much better than what it was at first. I didn't want to do an apartment tour for the longest because we only had the couch, the TV stand, and a mattress upstairs. That's all we had. We didn't have this coffee table, this rug, this, like we didn't have almost anything. So it's much better than what it was, but I still do want to add some more decorations, like maybe a painting or, you know, like the little plant I really wanted to put in the corner there. But yeah, this is our cat tree or our cat's cat tree it actually broke it's much taller but um hazel kind of tilted it and kind of broke it in half but we have to buy a new one anyways because as you can see the scratch post is used a lot by my bigger cat and he always lays here as you can see all his black fur all over the place but over here is our balcony area we have these two little chairs there and I'm planning on getting a like a little table for the middle and um, maybe adding some lights around here but this is about it we don't really have much for the balcony anyways close that and then our kitchen oh and I forgot I have some water there we don't really have anywhere to put it so we keep it there we don't have a lot of space and then uh, our kitchen area, usually we'll eat here. We don't really have a dining table. Our dining table area is supposed to be over here, but um, we just have these two chairs and we don't even eat here. That's the funniest part. We usually eat when we're watching TV in the living room or I'll eat in my room and Chris will eat in his, but I mean, sometimes we will eat here. But yeah, this is our kitchen, standard microwave, stove, fridge, um, and a dishwasher <clears throat> nothing too special I still need to decorate this more as well I got that recently and I put that in my baby snack because you know kitchen snack get it 
yeah. <laughs> and then over here we have some gym supplements. Uh, I don't really know much about this. Chris is the one who knows about this stuff. And then on this side, we have some G Fuel. So quick little shout out to G Fuel for all these tubs. I really also like their shaker cups. They're really cute. So if you are interested in G Fuel, trying out G Fuel, or if you already have tried out G Fuel and want to support me, my code is DAISY, D-A-I-S-Y-Y, and you can get some money off of G Fuel. So there's that. And then we also have a little LED salt lamp. I thought this was like a little cute addition. I don't know. I think it's really adorable. So um, here, as I said, <laughs> this is supposed to be the dining area, but we turned it into Hazel's little sleep, eat, and use the bathroom area. Obviously, she doesn't always use the bathroom here. It's just we put a pad in case we're out somewhere. She has to use the bathroom and we can't take her out. She'll just poo on the pad or pee on the pad. And then we have a cage there that we actually used when we were first training her as a puppy, but she doesn't use that anymore. She's kind of already trained. And um, some biscuits, some more pads, and her dog food up there. And as you can see, all these, <laughs> these holes in the wall, all that is all her. She chews the walls, she makes holes in the walls, and she always demolishes her bed. And uh, we give her new toys all the time and she demolishes them, rips them to shreds the very first day we get them. I don't even know what to do anymore, but <clears throat> yeah, that's all her. She's the culprit of all these holes. And then we have a gate because my small kitten is very, very, very afraid. I don't know why I said it like that, my small kitten. My small cat is very, very scared of our dog Hazel. So we have to keep them apart. She will hiss and run away and then Hazel will try to chase her because she thinks she's playing when she's not. And uh, this is Cole. Hi, Coley. Coley. Hi, baby. Oh, hi, buddy. Oh, this is this is Fifi. She's the one that's scared of our dog. What, buddy? All right, so over here is our first bathroom because we have two bathrooms. Um, and this is basically the pet's bathroom. So what I mean by that is this is like where I take Hazel a bath, this is where the cat's litter is, and this is where the cats eat. I had to put the cat's uh, food up here because um, sometimes we do take this gate out and Hazel will try to eat the cat's food, so I have to put it somewhere where she can't reach it, which is why it's there. And then I also have this little water fountain area for my big cat, Cole, because for some reason <laughs> he would only drink from the sink and I couldn't always be there whenever he was thirsty to open it for him. So this is so much better because he can drink the water there whenever he wants and it's always running. So yeah, this is basically the cat's bathroom. Right, Cole? Right, buddy? Yeah. <laughs> and then over here is my gaming room. It's right next to the bathroom. I'm probably the only one that uses that bathroom because it's like right next to my room. But here, my gaming room is a little messy. Obviously, I uh, have to clean this up a little more. I used to have soundproof foams all over my room, but my cats get on my desk over there and will knock everything down. And those foams do not stay on my wall anyway, so I took them all down. But then we also have a mattress here. And this was actually the mattress we had upstairs, but since we got a brand new bed, we moved it down here. And I guess if we ever have like a guest or something sleeping over, they could sleep in this room. But uh, yeah, this is my gaming setup over here. And as you can see, it's a little messy. The cable's out down there. Um, over here, I have like this little drawer area where I put all my other extra cables. Um, and I have to get a new desktop because that one's very old. The reason it's slanted like that is because I have to keep it at a certain angle. Otherwise, all my USB will disconnect. I don't know what it is about this desktop. I just, it's, it's just on its last life. Like, And then over here, I'm gonna turn on the light because it's kind of getting dark now. Over here we have my 100K YouTube plaque and the little paper that came with that. I framed it and um, I have a printer, my MacBook and some pop collection little action figures, or I don't even know what they're called, but yeah, we got the Omega Bright Bomber Skull Trooper Torb and the Hanzo. I really want more, but that's all I have for now. <laughs> so yeah, 
basically this room. I gotta clean it, it's still a mess. And we do have this big closet in this room where I just use it for storage. You guys can't see because it's so dark. It's like storage for a bunch of boxes for the things we've bought, another, another, uh, another monitor, whatever. Okay, moving on over here. We have another closet. Hi, Fief. I'm gonna have to open the door, buddy. Watch out, baby. We have a, a storage closet for more things that we don't have room for. Just put it there. Hi, baby. Anyway, then we have more stairs. And up here, we have a laundry room and our bedroom. So first the laundry room, uh, this is full of laundry that has to be done and we have some extra clothes in there. We still have to organize in that closet in our bedroom. And this is all Fifi. She bites this cardboard box like crazy. But over here is our laundry room. We have a washer and a dryer. And we also have another litter box because we have two cats. So if one is full or like dirty or something, even though I clean it, um, they always have this extra one, but the thing is they never actually use this one. I don't know what it is. They will not use this litter box. It might be because they're scared of the washer and dryer, but you know, that's always there in case they need to use another litter box. And then over here is our bedroom. We still haven't decorated this too much. All we really have is this big bed. We need a nightstand in here, um, a dresser, and over there is Chris's setup. Oh my God, what are you doing to the bed? Hey. Get down, get, what are you doing? What are you doing? That's not a scratching post. <laughs> um, that's Chris's setup, that's our bed. Over here is our closet where we have our clothes. It's a little bit dirty, um, shoe rack, all that stuff. And then over here is our bathroom. Very simple. We need some <laughs> more decorations up in here. Two sinks. Um, nothing really too special and uh, yeah, that's basically about it for our apartment. Uh, I don't know. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Fifi, get out of here now. Fifi. I don't trust her in our bedroom because she has pooed and pissed on our bed like three times. I don't know why she does that, but she always, every time she gets on here, she will poop or pee. And I don't trust her in here anymore. We don't let her in this room. Come on, get out. Get out. And she bites on every cable. Come on, get out. Come. Come on. Let's go, baby. We trust him. He, he never does any of that. But she, she's a little culprit. Oh, my gosh. Oh, gosh. Don't do it, thief. <sighs> I'm going to just leave her in here and trust her for once. But if she does it, oh. Anyways, guys, again... I hope you guys enjoy this apartment tour. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up, like, comment, subscribe. Some more suggestions on other videos you'd like to see. But yeah, guys, um, hope you enjoyed the video again. What are you doing down there? And uh, I will see you guys in the next video. So bye, guys. Say bye, Hayes. Say bye. Bye, guys.